listening to this press release, we are focused on the unconditional freedom of our leader and the freedom of the Biafran people and, and not an Ambara election. We need to get things very clear. What we are interested in is unconditional release of Oyen Dumas in Namde Kano. This is what we are out for. Let Mas in Namde Kano be released unconditionally. Because according to the legal terms, legal their laws, even though the Zoological Republic of Nigeria don't obey the law they made, Mas in Namde Kano is not supposed to be tried or whatever in that court. They're supposed to, by the time they hear that they have made the hell of big mistake by themselves, what they're supposed to do is to return him back to Kenya or back to England. That is what they're supposed to do. From there, according to our legal teams, you might have had their interview. From there, they will not file an application to the court. If the court permitted, then that is the time that the government of Britain can say, okay, take him. Then they have the rights. This is how it is. But you go and kidnap somebody somewhere and you are going to try him with different identity. It never happened. Extraordinary rendition is a crime against the international law. And this is what we are focusing on. And Mazen Namdikan must unconditionally be released. This is our focus, not any other thing that the politicians are throwing in for us. Understand the game. They are the one throwing all these things, brother. They are the one throwing all these things, sister, in order to derail us, to confuse us. And it's not going to happen. Very, very important. They may deceive you, they may derail you, but not us, not IPOB, not this directorate of state. That is why you must give thumb up to them at all times. These are intelligent people. These are great men that Chukwoke Kabiyama uses our leader to select for eventuality a time like this. People who will never fall to the trap of the enemy. They know the game very well because they, we are with Ohamadike from day one. Some of them are there seven years, eight years, ten years with Ohamadike, very close, walking. Not all this um, bypass uh, uh, product, you know, all this uh, bypass uh, product, byproducts that just join as a result of this. And I am a broadcaster. There, none of them has even been tested. Oh, and that is where our mind always goes. These men that are member of the Directorate of State have been tested. They have been trained. They have, they, they, they have passed through the quasi system that Ohamadike always talk about. You must know that. Listen to this news. It is our press release. It will give you insight with the help of one or two analyses that I will add to it. If you have wisdom, you will pick things. Listen and listen very carefully. The global movement and the family of the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOB, ably led by our great leader and indefatigable leader, Mazin Namdi Khan, wish to clarify that contrary to the speculations and the blackmail, IPOB has never made any official statement or call for boycott, boycott of Anambara State gubernatorial election coming on 6th of November 2021. Hope you got the statement very clear. Let me repeat it again. The global movement and the family of indigenous people of Biafran, IPOP, ably led by our great and indefatigable leader, Mazin Namdikanu, wish to clarify that contrary to speculations and the blackmail. IPOB has never made any official statement or call for the boycott of Anambara State gubernatorial election coming on 6th of November 2021. Big wisdom then. It will therefore be wrong for people to speculate or peddle falsehood against us when there is no basis for such. Whatever anybody is saying that is not part of what you hear from a press release from the head of the directorate when he gives his broadcast is false. Please have it in mind. We are intelligent people. We are more educated. 
with wisdom more than the ginger weed. Even your so-called politicians, they, most of them didn't even go to school. When Biafra come, this kind of people can, are not even qualified to be politician, to come and be a governor. So somebody like Ojo Zokalo that didn't go to school. If I knew about them, all these people didn't, uh, they, they, how about your chalk? They don't know anything, but they are your leader doing this, doing that. They don't know, they knows nothing. All the, what feel in their mind is just corruption. Forget about that. Somebody make money. In Nigeria, there is opportunity for you to be able to excel in uh, wrongly to and become a billionaire. All those kind of things, you know. So, you must have this. You must know that. Let's continue. For the sake of clarity, what we said was that the entire Biafra land would be locked down from November 5th to November 10th. November 5th to November 10th. If by on November 4th, Omadike is not out, we lock down the Biafra land in protest for the release of our leader. Any other thing they are doing is none of our business. We don't care. I believe in me and I want to defend the name. We want our leader to be released. They can do their election. Let them go do. Whether you vote or you didn't vote, they have concluded what to happen. They just want to use you and I as an excuse for something they want to do and also to tarnish our image globally. So they want us to say this. If we say this, then they will do this. Then they will come out and do that. Brother, my fact. So they, we, they can't hold us. What we are looking for is the unconditional release of Mazen Namdekano, which we have been doing, doing our protests of sitting at home. This time from 5th to 10th is going to happen. It's going to happen. So this is what the, 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 the press release is trying to let us know. If by November 4, the federal government failed to release our leader, Mazin Namdi Khan unconditionally, our position has nothing to do with Anambra election. All we need is the release of our leader who committed no crime to be held perpetually in custody. We have gathered through intelligence the plot by Nigerian government to keep our leader in detention perpetually through frivolous court adjournment. This is their game. We know this. And we are planning ahead. Dear brothers, whether you vote to or you don't vote, they have concluded what to do. And for that what to do, they need your blood. Why we ask you to sit at home? We didn't say don't go and vote. To. We didn't say go and vote. But we don't want, we just want to be on protest in order to show the world that our leader needs to come out. Then, any other thing they are calling you for, they need your blood. I don't know. They need your blood, not your vote. Your vote don't count in Nigeria. Imo State is an example. We have been saying this thing, our people don't hear. You don't listen. You don't want to understand. You want somebody to come and tell you what you want to hear. What your mind, your dirty mind has concocted. No, sir. You are, you are under intelligent people, educated people. These DOS are very, very intelligent and educated. You must know that. Very naturally and academically, in terms of wisdom, they have it and knowledge. This is what we are protesting. Any other thing you can do is on your own. But if you die, it's don't, don't wait for our RIP. Don't wait for our RIP because that is what they want. And they will leash it if you do their own wish. But what we know is that the land belongs to us. And whatever you must do, you must come to us to take permission. The time has come and the time is now. And we are not going back. We have no hand in obstructing anything democratic uh, exercise. It's not if we don't. We are law-abided people. Anything to obstruct or disturb democratic, the world have to hear our voice. Our hands is not there. We don't want, we don't care. Let them do their election, do whatever they want, choose what whoever they wish for is for them. But we are sitting at home. We are sitting at home in protest to release our leader. Have understanding and have wisdom. Then you know what to do, what to say at the right time. But if you go out, your blood will be used for sacrifice. Nigeria have been living on blood, on blood of people. 
Ninja have been living on blood. It is the blood of the 67 to 70 that we are able to hold Nigeria till this time. Now, people have understand to revolt. That is why the foundation is shaking. Maybe you may not agree. These are spiritual things, but it is real. If you go there, they will destroy you. They use it to install a new government in Anambra State, and you will die. They use it for sacrifice. We are telling you the gospel truth. This is personal things I'm sharing with you. But back to what we are discussing from the uh, our press release, they want to keep our leader there from court adjournment to adjournment, 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 which we will never tolerate. Ogaheme, brother, it will not happen. Ogaheme, we won't. We will never keep quiet. We will never keep quiet. We will do whatever possible means legally legally socially to make sure that our leader comes out very very important politicians must leave ipob out of their predicaments these politicians are criminal they want to lure us into it then use us they want to lure us you see the other one go and file a book, uh, court petition to go and see our leader to come out and nana call rubbish get in as well election etc all manner of rubbish Oh, they just want you to use us. And we don't want them to use us as they have been doing. They are ready for anything at all. Any step we make, they will use it. I'm telling you, we, this is like a draft. We have calculated all these things. Any step we pull out. My dear brother, listen to what I'm telling you. Any step now, IPOB moves. They will use it. For their own advantage because already they have planned and conclude what who is going to be there anambra is the head of the Igbo, if you don't know and the Igbo is the key Igbo is the salt of the zoo Igbo is the sacrificial lamb offering blood at all time given the, the whatever needed for zoo to move on so they want to capture where of Igbo is they want apc to hold it to then we are gone and gone forever. So they want to use us to have it. But I want to bury Siani. Man, who for the new moon, I know what he put on a platform in Akko, in Akko. Who for the new moon, they are using your brain. Listening to what we are telling you. Listening to the DOS. Listening to the head of the directorate. Whenever speech is made, take that speech as it is, because you are fighting with ancient serpent. You are fighting with Asian serpent. You heard what uh, Abubakar Malami said. Malami said that they are working with their allies in the foreign country to tag us terrorists so that uh, they will stop us because they know that our strength mostly now is in diaspora in this struggle. But it's impossible. One of the ways they will use now is to go and tell the world that these people interrupted a democratic exercise. This is what they are looking for. They will have the evidence. Say, see, not them. That is why we started telling people, writing, broadcasting it, using the one that they have had, that they have done. They turned themselves to unknown gunmen, unknown soldiers. You saw it in Norway, where DSS shot his fellow DSS men who disguised himself as unknown gunmen. All these things, we gather the evidence and we are sending it to that their allies as well. As they are spending Nigeria money trying to bribe them, the same way we are pumping our inf information uh, with facts and figures. So brother, you need to understand what we are telling you. We need to understand why we come out and talk the way we talk. They want to use it, then they will tell the UN, tell this, because anything against democracy in the world, you must know that is a crime. The world, the moving power, want democracy to continue, which we are in support of it. So they will use it against us. Understand what? So let them do their kangaroo election. Pull yourself out of the rubbish, brother. Pull yourself out of the rubbish, sister, and follow us. Follow who no road. Follow who will guide you. Not people who want to be somebody through Biafra. Some people are not up to three years. Two, two years ago, three years ago, they were castigating IPOB. Castigating our leader. Today now, they are champion. They are champion. And you are following them. You, your brain is not working. You are listening to them. Because they want to be somebody out of the blood. I don't want to be somebody out of the blood of he consult them. Of this. No, 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 no. I want their mission to be restored. 
You don't need to be me or I don't need to uh, become whatever. I want their mission, that thing they die of to be restored. That's all. This is what we want you, this is what, this is how we are working. So you should not pay attention to those people. Some of them are agents of DSS. Because it is DSS that are popping all the problems into IPOB. Most of us have not yet understand the games of this Asian serpent. When our leader was first kidnapped, it is DSS that came out and said that it was in Ghana, it is in Brazil, it is in China, it is in uh, uh, Pambegua, it is in Damaturu. DSS was pumping all those things, putting confusion everywhere in order to cover the extraordinary rendition. That is their duty. It is the same DSS that come and tell you that it is IPOB that betray our leader. Everybody become an enemy to itself. You don't trust your brother again. You are fighting. Because you are, we are gullibles. We have gullibles among us. Where immediately you had that thing, you just jump up. Because you have hatred over somebody. And you use it. It is the same DSS that pump out the last uh, audio clip. So that they will not bring our leader to court. That the Nam the Kano, they install uh, 5G network. Oh, you can't eat on a voice note. Hoy, hoy, hopo do good is that. Even a man of God came out and said, We don't confirm him. We don't confirm him. No, be him you can't see for court. These are the things they are pumping out. We know these people. Ndaba, go, this Haitian serpent, evil men. They never use their wisdom. Their wisdom is corrupt. As Bible told you, that the wisdom from the day one he's seen, his wisdom is corrupt. They have a very powerful wisdom, but they can never use it for good thing. Their wisdom is corrupt. So stop listening to every nonsense. Follow who no road. Listen to DOS. Do what they ask you to do, brother. Do what they ask you to do. We have no hand in an number election. We are sitting at home. We are sitting at home. And that's all. on that day. So that is that. Politicians are plotting games, whatever. So you don't want to be governor by all means. If I want to be governor by all means, yes, one Nestle, what's his name? Uh, Chris Uba. They are on. You know how deadly they are. Straight from the time of Ngige. They can. They are ready. That family is ready to kill half of Anambra people to make sure that they are governor. Not even money alone. The 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 Oba family of uh, SLA and uh, Chris. They are ready. If you tell them sacrifice half of Anambra people so that you will be there. These people are ready. They don't care. And these are people you are trying to listen to whatever garbage they are giving to you. They are giving to you what one lakunu do not they. That is the only way. I know why I'm speaking this thing. Understand what we're telling you. Very, very important. Politicians must leave IPOB alone. Politicians must leave IPOB out of their uh, predicament. They should stop dragging IPOB into their election. We knew their evil plan when they were killing their fellow politicians and blaming it on IPOB. They should leave us alone. We are telling them the game. Because at the end of the day, it will, tie, it will bounce on us. They will bounce it on us. Brothers, you must pay very, very attention. Using social media to link IPOB to Anambra election shows most of them are not informed about plot by Nigerian government and her security operative to hijack this election and give it to whom they feel to perfect establishment of Ruga in Anambra State. So short and simple. But that won't work for them because IPOB is ahead of their game plan. We know them and we will never allow any rubbish of them to use us. Also, there you can't. These are these people balanced like a rock of Gibraltar. You can't move it. They stand and they stand. And that is why I love them. We urge media houses to be objective in their reportage and cross check their facts. IPOB has never at any time called for boycott of an Anambra election. Media houses should stop publishing lies against us. This is the area now 
all of us that are listening should go on social media to attack these people back. This is the area you need to go and attack them back. On that issue, whatever they are writing on channel, broadcasting on channel, on uh, Arise News, on Vanguard, on Punch, all these useless uh, journalists of the Zoological Republic. You just go there. That is your duty. You take that to your China phone. Go to their Facebook. Wherever you see they wrote those things, you take something like this press release and uh, give it to them. Have a word to counter. Then the foreign people that are watching and listening and reading, when they read and come to your own comment, they will not have understanding. But if you allow whatever nonsense they publish and you did not debate it, debunk it there, they will take it that it is true. Instead, you will come back home and be disturbing us, fighting us. But look at the work you have to do in that forum where they are talking whatever nonsense. Very, very important. A word is enough for a wise, my dear brothers and sisters. A word is enough for a wise. Be, 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 be careful. We are not regain our grace again at all times. We are not regain our grace again. Very, very important. Very, very important. Um, look at this one. This man said, um, I never visited a bandit without a government official, Sheikh Abubakar Ahmed Gumi. Ahmed Gumi said that any time he visits the bandit, the government is aware. I don't know whether you catch something there. I never visited the bandits without government official officials. Uh, Sheikh Abubakar Ahmed Gumi made a statement that each time all this why have been going where and there, all the whole Fulani bandit, criminal, terrorists, the camp in the forest, which he knows, that he never been there without governmental officials. In other words, government approves it. <laughs> you need to understand the game, understand this statement. Government approves it. Government know where they are. Just for example, now let me put it in this way, because when it comes to the prince of Nigeria, our brain don't work. We can't analyze things very well. You see, they have proscribed us, isn't it? They proscribed us as terrorists in the zoo, that we are this, we are that. Let's say, for example, now, somebody like um, uh, Michael Kunko. Michael Kunko, I think, um, in terms of a spiritual uh, head in uh, within the ego, I think he should be the, the 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 leading the head the number one or among the first top five. I don't know. Let's say somebody like Michael Kunku, Bishop Michael Kunku, now come out and um, go to Enugu. Let's say use Enugu for example. He go to Enugu now and uh, he go to the uh, police command there. He he said I want to go and visit ESN camp in the forest. Then they now give him some policemen, and he goes there and come out. I don't know whether you can figure such a thing. I'm just giving you an example. This is exactly what is happening in the north. Each time he's going there, he'll go with police. The police will, or the military, they will go with the, uh, the, uh, their AK-47 rifle, and the bandit with their own, he will stare them, no, 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 don't shoot, nobody should shoot. Then he will sit in their mistake picture, the Nigerian police also, that the bandits are killing, will also stand there watching the people that have been killing his colleagues, see how they negotiate, talk, do uh, tour and uh, whatever, kunu, and they will drink there, and the Sheikh Gumi will give them money, give them whatever, and they return back. No problem. I don't know whether you understand this, this statement. He said that each time he, which means government is aware of his visitation and government knows those areas. Government knows those areas where these bandits are, the so-called bandits. But for me, it's a terrorist. They are terrorist group. People who have sophisticated arms, weapons that will bring down uh, to Kano Jet that they bought. That is why they paid them $50,000, which is 20 million naira, in order not to shoot Nigerian aircraft, Nigerian presidential jet, as it's going to, 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 to Kastena. As it's going to Kastena. So these are the people, Gumi, Gumi is telling you that each time he goes there, he goes with government officials. So use your hand to do more analysis, tell yourself the truth, what is going on. The other one is that we saw the clip of P2B 
and um, Abaribe with other PDP how they were humiliated and chased out of a uh, main market. People should under these politicians are useless. These politicians are useless and foolish. They thought the same method you use it to be that they, they, you see how they have taken us that we are fools because every year this is what they will do every year, every year. Whenever they come and do this kind of thing, I told you that no, all of them are the same thing. You see how you see how they come in. They now push a P to be somehow claim to be sent somehow better than other Igbo politicians. Then Abari Bear has been somebody we have been praising all this while. You see how they made them together now to bring out a criminal or another potential criminal as their gubernatorial candidate in the state. You see the game. You see the game. Not knowing that even if you like now, go to the Senate and be shouting from now to tomorrow. We know that it's not going to work for us. We'll just clap for you politically. But when it comes to Biafra restoration, and when we hear nothing, if not Biafra, if you if you are saying anything to me now, not that is not about how this Biafra will come, that I will enter. You are just wasting your saliva because it can never penetrate my ear. They don't know that we have reached to that level, and that is why it's so dangerous, both for them. This P2B, we have forgotten that, yes, everybody clap hand, he's, he, he, he built a brewery for you, where you are drinking hero, hero. After you drink hero with your money, you become stupid, become stupid. Then they will take the tax and go and give somebody in Kano, whereby the person in Kano will not let you say hero there. But the one you drink, this will go, the tax will go to the pocket of um, federal government and they will give it to Kahneman. Kahneman will eat. The money he call uh, 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 Haram, he will eat it via tax. This P2B was the one who built it. Okay, why he was building it? Instead of him to build the other, you remember that it is P2B that built the highest shopping mall. P2B built the highest shopping mall in with Anambra money in, in, uh, in Abuja, which he's trying to deny. P2B, P2B that claimed to be sent. The best shopping mall in Abuja was built by him. Instead of him to build it in Enugu, or to build it in Iguacha, or to build it in, um, in Aba, or wherever, where it will support the economy of his people, he went and do it in Abuja. And today he's telling you to come and showing you another candidate, which they will install there. By the time they install there, then they start collecting percentage. This P2B. This P2B was the one who commanded. He tell the OC, OC Wafo of a SARS. They slain, they kill our Maso brothers. Forget about that Maso is whatever. Those brothers they killed, you must know that they have the same heart. You and I had for Biafra to restore before Wazuri and his co-host do whatever converted into evil. But those brothers that we are massacred, you must, you must take them as your own brother till tomorrow. Till tomorrow, you must take because they are there with all their just as you and I are into the struggle with our clean heart to make sure that Biafra is being restored. Pito B massacred them in the Zoo River. Pito B killed them. No, up to today, the autopsy report was not available till today. I remember that those days in broadcast as a 2013. Our leader will be here. Where is the autopsy report? Where is the autopsy report of the people dying in the Zoo River? Was Rico was silent because they had been bribed as a den. Nobody's talking. It was Mazin Nam the Kano that was hammering it. This thing happened by this P2B that came to uh, Man Market now to campaign for PDP. This P2B you see is not a good man. No matter whatever he claimed, he built the economy, he left how many billion in account, and all these things are nonsense. Even his name, the Pandamora, uh, Pandamora, is it Pandamora, Pandadora, Pepper. That they release his name is among P2B's name is among. He was trying to deny it. Remember that that uh, Pandora or Pandadora paper is not. Uh, it was not done by Nigerians or a group of uh, APC or PDP. Perhaps you say it's political. It was done by a group of lawyers all over the all over Africa and uh, some people outside Africa. They gather together to be exposing how African political leaders are taking money out of the country, out of the continent. That is what they are doing. Even this uh, idiot in Kenya, Uhuru Keita, that idiot, that criminal, Nachanya Red, his name is among. So P2B's name is among in that paper. 
and now he's claiming sent because he he want to be uh, president talking all manner of rubbish he's the one who came to people at a uh, 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 um, um, uh, men market but i will love what our people is doing nobody is to get those one these things are natural the same thing they did to the other one in lagos whenever they come is either on your tofu or nabu guansa or holy 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 nam de kanu is another savior these are the things you'll be hearing from people and this is what people want you can't change it you cannot change it your money can't even change it even now now if you give people money they will swallow the money and still stone you don't be surprised that before the pdp come to that market they have released money so this time their money can't help them in fact they are in danger because there will be a time it will reach as they enter they will die i'm telling you they will die because enough to all this nonsense look at how everywhere is look at the wish of the people and you are giving them another wish as if they are stupid they want you to release the unconditional release of our leader Mazin Namdekano. And you are bringing PDP. What is PDP? What is PDP? You are bringing PDP to them in their market. The market you did not build. Look at that on the, uh, on the Chairman market. An international market that have been existing for years. Do you know the, gener the tax they are generating from that place? But to rebuild it, every government will come and go. It just remains like that. Immediately fire comes. That market will burn into pieces. Burn beyond repair. People will lose billions. Billions will be burned. None of them is thinking how to rebuild it. Rather, every year, the maintenance of that market will be in Anambra budget. But somebody owns it. After the budget, somebody will pocket it. And you are bringing PDP. They would have poor hot water or pepper or whatever upon you people. Those ones that are watching you from top would have from there throw one uh, pepper, whatever, or 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 your there. Nonsense. Your money cannot. Your money cannot help. Very very important. 